Hey guys, Brandon here, Mint and Made Properties. We have your Macomb County 2020 September market update. We always preface with a couple things here. And we have the month in arrears. Data is finally in, it's finalized. It's come through the ringer. Now we have it. And we have three years of data. There's one year of data, wouldn't make any sense. So we have three years that we can see the trend. The trend is your friend, remember that. So, Macomb County, I'm diving into days on market, DOM, anytime you see that, DOM, days on market. 27 two years ago, 33 last year, and 27, it's back down again this year. So last time on market, we've seen that across the board here in Metro Detroit. Active number of homes, 700, 1,721 two years ago, 2,003 last year, 1,155 this year. And again, this is a one day uh, data set, one day sample size. So the day the data was taken, how many homes were on the market at that time? That's insanity, La half of what it was last year almost. So we are uh, we are in a pinch for homes, as you're gonna see here on this next quick ratio here basically. Months of inventory is at the rate homes are selling, how long would it take to sell every last home? This is a quick ratio just to see what kind of market we're in. One to three months is a seller's market, meaning there's not a lot of inventory, the prices are moving up. Four to six months means it's balanced, and seven plus means it's a buyer's market. When you've got tons of properties on the market, prices are coming down. So you can see this is a really steep seller's market room right now. That's why it's a great time to sell your home. Get equity out. New homes, so this is the number of new that were actually listed on the market that month. 1925, two, one, two years ago, 2017, last year, and then 1764 this year. So down a bit with new homes coming on the market. And unfortunately, this moves across the board as well. So we're seeing you know, more homes close here, which we're gonna see in a minute, but we're seeing less homes coming on the market now going forward. With lockdowns, more lockdowns possibly. Anyone's guess as to what's gonna happen, so stay tuned. Price per square foot, 106 two years ago, 122 last year, 129 this year. So prices are going up. Obviously, cheap money, low interest rates, are just driving prices up. Obviously, uh, inventory low, prices are going through the roof. And if you want to get a valu valuation of your home, you multiply this by your square footage. However, more importantly, you want to see the trend. So the trend of your county, which way are things going? That's the most important thing here because remember, this, this is a county-wide number. If you want an actual evaluation of your home, you have to have someone on your team or an appraiser come to your home and actually give you a valuation of your home. But this, like I said, more importantly is the trend, showing that off here. Number of sold properties, so 1,239 two years ago, 1,241 last year, 1,549 this year. And again, this is people actually closing on the home, actually signing on the dotted line and taking title of the house. Over at home, again, we're seeing an influx here because there's a lot of homes that came on the market over the last few months and piled on and now they're all closing. So we've seen this over the last few months, but we've seen less on the market going forward. So stay tuned. This is uh, an ever-changing process month by month, really week by week. So appreciate your time, your attention, your energy. It's the most important thing we have in our lives, most important asset. So uh, we're sharpening our mind every single day, your mind and your time. It's the most important thing we have. So we're sharpening our mind here and making good decisions for our families and we are also using our time wisely. So I thank you for spending it here. We'll see you guys on the next one.